Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. In today's world, as we have seen, air and missile defense systems are essential. Indeed, they can defend against various aerial threats. Today, we would like to show you the top 15 best air defense systems in the world. Iron Dome Iron Dome is the Israeli anti-missile system. It keeps the national territory safe by intercepting and destroying short- and medium-range missiles. While the technology is Israeli, the United States has been financially supporting Israel's Iron Dome for about a decade. The U.S. has spent $1.6 billion on its production and maintenance. The Iron Dome is a portable and all-weather air defense system. It can detect and destroy tactical unguided missiles and artillery shells fired from 4 to 70 kilometers away with a trajectory that could potentially threaten population centers. An interceptor missile is launched only if the system has calculated that an enemy shot could hit a densely populated area. Such missiles can also maneuver in the air. However, they do not hit an enemy missile but explode nearby. But the cost of the system is quite high, starting at $50 million per unit. NASAMS NASAMS is a movable Norwegian anti-aircraft missile system intended for countering maneuvering aerial targets at low and medium altitudes, a short to medium range air defense system. The system was jointly developed by the Norwegian Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace and the US Raytheon companies. It was put into service in Norway in 1994. Since 2004, this system has been in service of the USA and is used for air defense of Washington, D.C. Jake Sullivan, U.S. Presidential Secretary Advisor, announced that the advanced air defense system NASAMS would be included in the new military aid package for Ukraine. According to many analysts, NASAMS is one of the most advanced air defense systems in the world. It is capable of hitting targets at a distance of 100 miles. 160 kilometers. In the basic configuration, the missile is capable of shooting down air targets at a distance of up to 16 miles, 25 kilometers. In addition, it is capable of hitting 72 targets simultaneously. MEADS MEADS is an anti-aircraft system jointly developed by the US, Germany, and Italy, capable of defeating both aircraft and medium-range tactical ballistic missiles. Combat range is 3 to 100 kilometers for aircraft, 3 to 35 kilometers for ballistic missiles, target hitting altitude is up to 16 miles, 25 kilometers. The Ministry Defense of Germany is going to replace the existing air defense shield of the country, which consists of the U.S. MIM-104 Patriot anti-aircraft missile systems with the new U.S. European Meads air defense system. The fully equipped unit consists of one all-around radar station, two fire control units, six portable launchers with 12 missiles, and several supply units. The MEADS is capable of intercepting targets in a 360-degree range and can fight multiple targets simultaneously. During the testing, MEADS was able to simultaneously intercept and destroy two aerial targets flying from opposite directions. Spider Rafael Spider is an anti-aircraft missile system developed by the Israel-based Rafael company. It has several different models. The Spider SR short-range system has a 360-degree impact capability and the missiles can be launched from a fully operational mode in less than 5 seconds after target confirmation. The range of attack ranges from 1 km to over 15 km and at altitudes from 65 feet to 2,950 feet, 20 meters to 9,000 meters. Raphael Company has also developed a medium-range model Spider MR, which has a range of more than 21 miles, 35 kilometers, 
at altitudes between 65 feet and 9 miles, 20 meters and 16 kilometers. Spider MR has eight missiles, while Spider SR has four. Spider MR also has a new surveillance radar. The main elements of the Spider system are a truck mounted command and control station, a rocket launcher with Python 5 and Derby missiles, a field service vehicle, and a missile supply vehicle. David's Sling David's Sling is an Israeli Defense Forces multi-level anti-missile system developed to intercept short-range ballistic missiles and large-caliber unguided missiles with a launch range of 44 to 187 miles, 70 to 300 kilometers. It has been jointly developed by the Israeli company Rafael and the U.S. company Raytheon. It is also supposed to be capable of intercepting aircraft. The system is designed to work in tandem with Iron Dome, Patriot, and Aero missile systems as part of Israel's air defense strategy. The interceptor in this missile defense system is a dual-stage anti-missile equipped with two types of guidance systems mounted to the bow section, radar and optoelectronic. The price of one interceptor missile is about $1 million, but the Ministry of Defense considers this price to be reasonable. Considering that the damage from enemy missiles that the system would be able to intercept would be much worse. THAD THAD is a terminal high-altitude area defense system intended for air defense. The U.S. anti-aircraft missile system is designed to intercept a wide class of ballistic missiles using the hit-to-kill system. THAAD can hit short- and medium-range ballistic missiles to protect strategic and operational targets in the theater of war and combat command regions to support both domestic and regional missile defense. The missile is capable of hitting air targets at a range of 93 to 124 miles 150 to 200 kilometers. The ANTPY-2 surveillance radar is capable of detecting and tracking enemy ballistic missiles at ranges of up to 1,864 miles, 3,000 kilometers. The radar is capable to operate in two modes, forward-based when the missile is in the lift phase and the end mode when it transmits tracking and interaction data for THAAD complex actions. A single THAAD battery is capable of having up to nine launchers, carrying 10 missiles each in transport and launch containers. HQ-22 The Hongqi-22, or HQ-22, is a Chinese medium to long range anti aircraft missile system. The system, based on the HQ 12, was first presented at Airshow China 2016. It is an all weather air defense system designed to hit enemy aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles, and enemy helicopters at all combat altitudes, during the day and at night, in all weather conditions with active radio electronic countermeasures by the enemy. The damage zone has a radius of up to 93 to 105 miles, 150 to 170 kilometers, and an altitude range of 164 feet to 16 miles, 50 meters to 27 kilometers. The export edition of FK-3 has an attack area of 3 to 62 miles, 5 to 100 kilometers, in the oblique range, and 164 feet to 16 miles, 50 meters to 27 kilometers altitude range. The system consists of three launchers and is capable of launching 12 missiles at six targets simultaneously. The launcher is equipped with a rotatable part that carries a pack of four transport and launch containers. SAMP TNG 
In 2001, the European Organization of Armament Cooperation signed a contract on the development of the SAMP TNG new generation anti-aircraft missile system for the French and Italian armed forces. The EuroSAM Franco-Italian Consortium, which includes MBDA France, MBDA Italy, and Thales, is the main contractor. The new contract is an extension of an agreement signed in 2016 to improve the SAMP-T systems in service in France and Italy. The SAMP-T NG is designed to perform all ground-based air defense missions and will offer enhanced capabilities. The basic version of SAMP-T is a portable ground-based anti-aircraft missile system using the MBDA-developed Aster-30 missile. The two-stage 450kg solid propellant missile has a top speed of 3,425 miles per hour, 5,513 kilometers per hour, and is capable of hitting targets both flying at low altitudes and on aeroballistic trajectory. The missile has a maximum range of 75 miles 120 kilometers, against aerodynamic targets and an altitude range of 164 feet to 13 miles. 50 meters to 20 kilometers. MIM-104 Patriot The Patriot is an American anti-aircraft missile system currently in service with the U.S. Army and the armies of allied countries. It is manufactured by a group of U.S. companies led by Raytheon. The Patriot system was developed to replace the Nike Hercules and Hawk systems as a versatile medium and high-altitude air defense system for positional area of troops. Besides, the Patriot was supposed to provide missile defense for the U.S. Army. To destroy air targets, the MIM-104 Patriot uses a Pac-2 missile with the declared capability of destroying enemy aircraft at a distance of up to 100 miles 160 kilometers. The missile has its own radar homing warhead and a speed of up to 3,120 miles per hour, 5,022 kilometers per hour. The system is capable of simultaneously detecting and identifying over 100 air targets, continuously tracking eight selected ones, preparing initial data for firing, and launching and targeting up to three missiles at each target. An anti-aircraft battery includes four to eight launchers with four missiles each. Sky Sabre Sky Sabre is a British anti-aircraft missile system designed to replace the Rapier air defense system. The Sky Sabre can simultaneously track 24 targets and consists of three components radar, data transmission system, and anti-aircraft missiles. The Giraffe's all-around surveillance radar detects targets at a distance of 75 miles, 120 kilometers. The data transmission system connects the radar and the missiles. It also includes Link 16, a tactical network that allows communication with the Royal Navy, Air Forces, and British allies. The CAM anti-aircraft missiles weigh 218 pounds, 99 kilograms. They reach speeds of up to 2,300 miles per hour, 3,700 kilometers per hour, and are capable of hitting fighters, drones, and laser-guided bombs. The launcher carries eight missiles that fire in a multi-directional manner, which significantly reduces its footprint and makes the complex a less visible target for the enemy. Iris T. Ukraine signed a contract with German arms manufacturer Deal Defense to purchase the Iris T air defense system, which is not even in the service of Bundeswehr. According to German media reports, it refers to the Iris T SLM surface launched medium range system, one of the most advanced, which was presented to the international public in 2014. Its components include a command post radar and launcher for eight missiles, all located on German man chassis, which makes the system highly portable and maneuverable. The guided missiles are capable of shooting down air targets such as aircraft, helicopters, and missiles at ranges of up to 24 miles 40 kilometers, 
and altitudes of up to 13 miles 20 kilometers. Iris T SLM uses the latest generation of radars and can hit a variety of targets flying in different directions. Hizar Hizar is a series of Turkish short- and long-range anti-aircraft missile systems developed by Ezelsan and Rocketsan since 2007. It includes the Hizar A low-altitude air defense system, Hizar O medium-range air defense system, and Hizar U long-range air defense system, which has been renamed Cyper. The control system is an infrared homing system. The Hizar A defense system uses Rocketsan Hizar A guided anti aircraft missiles with a maximum firing range of 9 miles, 15 kilometers, and a reach of 3 miles, 5 kilometers. The launcher with four rising vertical launch containers is located on the FNSS ACV 30 tracked armored chassis. The medium range Hizar air defense system uses Rocketsan Hizar O guided anti aircraft missiles with a maximum firing range of 16 miles, 25 kilometers, and a reach of 6 miles, 10 kilometers. The Turkish military successfully tested the Cyper long-range air defense system in 2022. The new air defense system is being developed as an alternative to the S-400 and Patriot. According to the head of the Defense Industry Directorate, the Cyper could even outperform the Russian weapons. Meanwhile, the technical characteristics of the new air defense system have not yet been made public. S-500 The S-500 Prometheus is a Russian anti-aircraft missile system being developed by the Almaz Anti-Concern as a new generation of anti-aircraft missile systems, which is supposed to apply the principle of separate ballistic and aerial target destruction. According to the manufacturer, S-500 is a universal long-range and high-altitude interception system that can intercept ballistic and cruise missiles as well as aerodynamic targets. The radius of interception is about 372 miles 600 kilometers. It is capable of destroying objects, including hypersonic missiles, in space. According to reports, the system is capable of detecting and simultaneously hitting up to 10 ballistic supersonic targets flying at speeds of up to 7 kilometers per second. Skynex a German company offering security and mobility solutions, Rheinmetall has developed the new Skynex air defense system. According to the company, Skynex is Rheinmetall's latest air defense concept and it sets new standards with its unique and transparent architecture. Its integrated X-band tracking radar allows for autonomous sector search, making targeting simple, fast, and reliable. Tracking and hitting are automatically determined and performed by the integrated fire control processor. The system is capable of destroying dozens of drones in a matter of seconds thanks to the installed 35mm MK3 cannon. In addition to the MK3 cannon, other air defense weapons such as the Cheetah missile launcher can also be integrated into the system. This combination of weapons, according to the manufacturer, should provide a highly effective multi-layered defense against a wide range of airborne threats. CRAM CRAM is a type of U.S. tactical air defense system which defends against missile, artillery, and mortar fire by destroying targeted ballistic missiles in flight. CRAM systems use radar, optoelectronic, and acoustic equipment to detect and determine the trajectory parameters of munitions in flight. High-precision anti-aircraft weapons and programmed detonation projectiles are most widely used to destroy attacking weapon projectiles in the air.
But in the future, Sea Rams will be equipped with laser cannons that have already proven their effectiveness in destroying attacking mines and unguided missiles. Another forward-looking option is to implement Sea Ram mode on each armored vehicle equipped with 30 to 35 mm cannons. In order to do this, the weapon must have the ability to program remote detonation of multifunctional projectiles. That's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the systems you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.